Welcome. Let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday, the 25th of July, as we go into that last full trading week of the month. We can catch up now with Richard Snow from Daily FX with a look ahead uh, to that event next week. Rich, how are you doing? What's going on? What's on your horizon? Hi, Jeremy. I'm looking at a short Euro USD uh, trade, particularly short term, something intraday or scalping. Uh, around the uh, FOMC rate decision next week, Wednesday. The euro uh, is still in a bit of trouble. Major risks to the region uh, consider you have to look at the gas flows uh, continue to, to Nord Stream 1. Uh, those are at lower levels than expected. Uh, we've also had widespread rejection after an EU proposal for member states to consume 15% less gas. That continues to be a dark cloud over the the Eurozone and the Euro. We obviously have the resignation of Italy's Prime Minister, Mario Draghi, uh, triggering snap elections uh, to be held in September. And then we had the ECB rate decision yesterday, which actually was a, a positive uh, on the grand scheme of things. Uh, we saw that 50 basis point surprise and the introduction of the, the ECB's anti-fragmentation tool in the bond market to go along with it. Looking at the U.S., a fairly different story. We've seen that uh, markets are expecting a 75 basis point hike on Wednesday. Uh, I don't anticipate that that will uh, see a surge in the dollar, but will certainly remain supportive of the dollar. So looking at the chart, I'm looking at that particular area of resistance, that one spot zero to 80 level. We've seen uh, a push towards that without a breaking above. So I'd be looking at another test of that level in the uh, lead up to the FOMC decision, uh, whereupon we can look to fade such a move. And we've been seeing a daily range of around 100 pips. So if you are to see a rejection of that one spot, 0 to 80, uh, perhaps looking at entries from one spot, 0 to 50, uh, going short, looking at about 100 pips, uh, setting a stop around about one spot, 0 3 and uh, look to fade that move. There are multiple levels to the downside that you can look at. Uh, longer term play, you'd be looking at parity. But as I mentioned, I'd be looking to, to fade this on a, a very a short time frame going into the next week. Interesting. Thanks so much indeed, uh, Rich. Uh, looking there for a better price to get in to go short on the euro dollar around the FOMC decision on Wednesday.